Thanks, Michael. For the first time in nearly 20 years, Keiko the killer whale got a chance to swim in almost open waters this morning. Keiko's handlers in Iceland opened the gates on a pen that he's called home for the past year and a half. Keiko swam out of that pen into the open bay and then swam back in. His handlers hope to have Keiko ready to release back into totally open waters by later this summer. A lot of Northwest eyes, as you can imagine, are on Keiko's progress. And Northwest News reporter Scott Frolick joins us with more on that part of the story. Scott? Meg, I'm talking with Michael Harris. He's with the Tokite Foundation. Now, you, when we see Keiko out into greater expanse now, is it kind of like seeing a freed prisoner? We don't know what he's going to do? That's the thing. I don't think anybody really knows what this whale is going to do, and that's a great analogy. It is like being in prison. Uh, when humans are let out of prison, some are comfortable in that prison, want to go back to it. Uh, others run like hell. So we don't know what Keiko is going to do. but. Uh, a lot of work and a lot of effort has been put in to make, you know, to try to guess what he's going to do. And I, and I personally think he's going to, he's going to just enjoy his freedom. I know your foundation is also involved in another whale from the Puget Sound who's now in Miami, Lolita. Can you tell me a bit about her? Well, it's interesting. There's a lot of people nervous about this uh, in the captive industry. And, and part of the reason is because this is a great precedent. And if this works, then uh, we have another whale from Puget Sound, the last surviving killer whale from these waters right here, who's in Miami. And uh, what a great opportunity that's going to be to bring her back and get her out here with these whales and, uh, yeah, and, and let her have some babies. It's time for her to have some babies. She's in a great breeding age. So Michael Keiko is kind of a test case. Keiko is a test case, and uh, like I said, uh, SeaWorld's very nervous about this. You know, uh, SeaWorld's the jailkeeper, and, uh, and if this works, uh, there might be some other whales. Michael Harris, thank you very much. Again, Keiko now in much freer water, still not totally free, but he does have more room to swim around. Meg? All right, Scott Frolic in Seattle. Thank you so much, Scott.